Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Square Payments with QuickBooks in 2023. Integrating Square, a widely used payments processing platform with QuickBooks, which is a powerful accounting software, can simplify your financial management and streamline transaction tracking. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process or guide of setting up this integration, ensuring that your sales and financials data are accurately synchronized. So let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and create a square account if you don't have one go to the square website and sign up for an account to do so you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial set with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you do so, of course, you'll have to go to the Square website by going to the URL section, simply type square.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, this will take you to the home screen or main screen of Square website. And of course, if you have an account, you can simply go to the top right corner sign in option to sign in into an account. If you don't have it, of course, you will simply have to go and set and click on get started to create an account for yourself. And of course, you can even before like creating your account, scroll down, read more information about Square and see if it's uh, good for you. And of course, you can simply familiar familiarize yourself with this payments getaway and see even like people reviews about us and etc. And as you can see, if you scroll down, it's uh, there is a quick uh, books logo here so as you can see square integrates with a wide range of business tools from wix to quickbooks pick what's your need to so staff management reports financials and your websites all works exactly how you want them to as you can see so for me i'm just going to go up here and click on sign in to sign in into my account of course of square let's just wait here of course so basically i'll have to sign in into my square if you don't have any square account you can sign up for a new one of course for yourself and I'll be right into the dashboard of my Square uh, website or account. For you, of course, uh, again, if you don't have like a QuickBooks account also, you'll have to go and create one on the QuickBooks website. Go and open a new tab, go to quickbooks.com and hit the enter button. And of course, make sure to go to the site or global site, depending on whatever you want, and make sure again to sign in into your account or log in into your account, as you can see at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you can always go and start your 13 days free trial. For me, I'm just going to log in into my account here again. And of course, I'm going to use Google to do so because this will prevent you from doing all the boring steps to log in or even to create my account. So sign in here. Uh, so sign in again. I just made like something different. And here, of course, I'm just going to type like the password. Oh, maybe I missed this or something. Anyway, I'll just log in into my account and I'll come back to you. Once I'm logged into my account, so I will be here in the dashboard also. Now, if I want to integrate QuickBooks with Square, there's two options to do so. You can start from QuickBooks or you can start from Square. Let's just, as an example, start with QuickBooks. As an example, on QuickBooks, you can simply go to this left panel and here go to apps and simply go and click on find apps. Here, make sure to go to the search button and simply type square here. And as you can see from here, we have some apps. So let's see and, and try this one as an example. So this app will let you, as an example, accept payments or connect all your sales channel to QuickBooks, Stripe, uh, Shopify, PayPal, Amazon, Square also. So that's what we want exactly. And we have a lot of other options. You can even see them all from here. So, of course, you can, for you, check other apps, as an example, that will let you integrate Square with your QuickBooks, depending on whatever you want. So, whatever app you choose, make sure to go and see the price. And if you have a free plan, if you don't, don't have it, and see the overview, like the features of the app, the reviews of people about the app, and if there's something similar like that. And of course, the frequently asked question about this app. If you want to, you can simply go now and click on Get App Now. And once you get the app, make sure to simply on there connect to your square account uh, it's going to be very simple so we'll have to wait on uh, this page until it loads and it's loading right now so as you can see from here i'll be able to connect some integrations depending on whatever i want so i can go back here to select integration and let's look for yeah here is it square so we can go to square and click on next step and Pay transactions example or daily summary depending on whatever you want you can so of course see uh, what this will sync for you and check whatever you want and go to the next step and here as we said we want square so click on square and click on connect 
and let's just wait for the page until it loads again so as you can see they will take us here to log in into our account our square account so let's just go and enter our credentials then click on sign in and as you can see uh, this or will allow all of this so if you are allowing them make sure to click on allow and the integration will be done on quickbooks side if you want to use the quickbooks side if you want to use the square side, you can simply go to square again on your dashboard, go to this left panel again, go to settings, I guess, right here. Yeah. And then go to app integrations. Once you do so, of course, make sure to go and visit the app marketplace. And this should take you into these options from here. Make sure to simply type quick books. And as you can see, you'll find it here, quick books online. Simply click on that. Once you find it here, as you can see, it's free. Uh, not with QuickBooks, this, the QuickBooks, as you can see for this app, it's actually paid. But if you want to uh, use it through Square, it's free, as you can see. So manage your accounting in one place, automatically import your all your sales and transaction. So basically read all of that. And as you can see, the pricing is free. You can see full pricing details from here, but it's free as you, uh, as you saw before. So you don't have to do anything. So from here, we'll simply have to click on get started. And as you can see, you can get the app now or simply get into QuickBooks. I'm just going to click on get uh, on QuickBooks. QuickBooks, and as you can see here, save on tools for your entire business. So basically, you can simply from here choose a plan if you want to, and or wait, I uh, maybe made a mistake. So let's just go back, go back. So again, let's just click on get started here. And yeah, here, of course, you should sign in into your accounts. So let's just sign in into our account. And as you can see, we signed in into our account. Once you do so, we will normally find our QuickBooks is already integrating with my Square without any problems. You can always go now and check uh, or test the transaction before fully implementing the integration. Perform like a trans test transaction to ensure that the data transfer is working accurately between the Square and QuickBooks. Then, of course, you will have to enable the live sync and that's going to be it. After that, of course, you can like a regular review and recognize the QuickBooks uh, as an example. So you can regularly review your QuickBooks account to ensure that sync transactions are correctly refle reflected. And of course, all the payments and sales data to maintain like accurate financial uh, records. And of course, make sure to even stay informed about any updates uh, from Square or QuickBooks. Uh, keep both uh, your Square, uh, Square and QuickBooks accounts updated for smooth financial workflow. So that's going to be it for our tutorial. If you reach this, this video or this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected Square payments with QuickBooks, creating a seamless bridge between your payments processing and accounting tasks. So this integration streamlines your financial processes, uh, reduce manual data entry, and enhance overall efficiency. By following these steps, you've harnessed the power of two robust platforms to manage your finances with ease. So if you found this guide helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one, and even consider sharing this with others so they can benefit from that. So thanks for watching, and I will come back to you in the next video.